ben Emma en ik kom hier gewoon om mijn haar weer in een ander kapsel te knippen. Oké, okay, Emma wants a shorter hairstyle. She showed me on the telephone that what she want. So this is a shorter hairstyle. The PP uh, outstanding line won't go off. <laughs> For your turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now. Oké, okay, thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, we're gonna do her hair and she wants a short hairstyle. She lost short hair, you can see that already on the, what she has and, and you can see it on the videos already on my uh, internet program channel of YouTube. It's not the first time she models for me. Now this part will come up and we had a lot of colors laying beneath her hair. And we'll give it a color. Don't know yet what color, but we we'll give it a color. Start by wetting the hair. Not much, just a little bit. And to make sure I I have no uh, silicone-based products in her hair, I put a one drop uh, shampoo one into my bottle, so it takes down the silicone-based products. That's why I also wet the hair a little bit. Start on the shortest side. Of course, I can can't make it longer, so <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> Set out the line and pin away the hair. And I first set out the line till I get on the back of her ear, because now she gets uh, both ears free. Because this side will also be short and laying in a nice flowing line to this side. Okay, starting on the shorter side, working with the clipper. Now, as you will, we call the bello, because it can always, eh? Yeah. We can also a little bit with tattoo art, do not even for what, it's leuk, it's kleins. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that hard. You're not for next model. <laughs> Toen ik dat had, vond ik dat zo gaaf na de beurs. Ja. Ja. Nou, dat is ook gaaf. Ja. En het groeit heel mooi weg, hè? Het is zo uh, verdwenen. Klopt. Using my clipper as a comb. Make a nice short running around the ear. I always love to work with a comb and a clipper because then I can give it my, my own uh, character on the hairstyle because I can lean on the hairs, push them in the way I want them to be cut off and not with a clipper comb because it gives ultra hard lines and I don't like it, especially when uh, it's a woman. It can be nice but then you have, have to have a strong face. <laughs> Cut to clip away. My neck paper. Leaning on the skin and work with my blade in an angle of about uh, 50 degrees. And she has strong hair, you can hear that because my clipper stuck in her hair. Je hebt echt sterk haar. Ja. Ik heb echt ook gewoon veel ja. en dik haar. Dik haar, ja. Heel dik. Ja. Ja, mijn moeder heeft heel dik haar en mijn vader. Ja. En dan... ja. Je bent een kind van die ouders. Ja. ja. Dat klopt. Nou, je ziet, this new line is above the, the skull bone lines. But the nice thing about her skull is that the lines from the neck into the skull bone and then over to the upper parts of the skull uh, nice flowing parts there are no uh, parts that stick out it's just wonderful one one bending uh, line and that makes it very nice to give her a short hairstyle Now I use my comb as a clipper comb and I still can give direction to the hair because when I get in I pull the hair straight up 
so I can see what I'm doing. And it get a much nicer line when I do this. Using my clipper as a comb. And on the sharpest position I can clean the contour line. Yeah. I can take my clipper as a comb, make nice soft lines, nice connections to all the parts I did above with my comb. Put it in the sharpest position and clean this wonderful neckline of hers. Now first clean this up with my small clipper and then I'm going to the longer side. Oh. It's okay, okay. I don't worry yeah. quite well. Yeah. With my small clipper I clean the contour. Make a nice clean side beard. Follow the natural roundings of a neckline. Now I have a wonderful nice shape. Now I free the upper hair. You see how long it is <laughs> leaning on it. Okay, now I'm coming to the longer part over the line of falling of the skull. I part the hair up up, go to the about the set uh, on the center of the back, so I connect it to the center where I just cut. This part will come off. First take some hair up with my scissor. It makes it a lot easier with my clipper. And it's a bit of disconnect because the upper hair will lay on this line, but the under hairs will be short. After I made my first base line, I go in with my clipper again. Make a nice strong new line. Still pushing on the hairs, making sure all the lines connect to each other. Put my blade in the common position, clean it. Make a nice soft facial line. Leaning on the skin, hold again in the angle of 50 degrees. Or about a one o'clock position when you want to do it with the clock. And I've got myself a wonderful short underline. This uh, clean up with my small clipper again, and then I do the up. What it for next? Nee, want het geldt ook als de kapper die knipt gewoon kort haar heeft. Want ja. bijvoorbeeld als je door een vrouw wordt geknipt en die altijd lang haar heeft, die, ja. Die vindt alles kort, die vindt een boplijn ook kort. Ja. Niet allemaal natuurlijk. Nee. Maar de meeste wel inderdaad. En 
En het, weet je, het heeft ook een tijd nodig van rijpen altijd, vind ik. Voordat de kapper echt kort haar echt mooi gaat knippen en mooi, mooi gaat doen, heb je een tijd van rijpen nodig. Dat ja. moet groeien. We gaan op de honing een nieuwe zaak krijgen. Ja. Dat is wel wat heel gaaf. Vanaf wanneer? Uh, januari gaan we bouwen. Oké. Okay. Bij de fietsenzaak in City Bicycle Center. Ik ben één keer bij de honing geweest, maar... Wacht, ja, ik denk dat ze weet waar dat komt. Ja. Dus aan de straatkant is dat? Ja. Ja, gaaf. Now I go about a centimeter above the line. I just cut short. And there you see also the old colors. They're still in wonderful colors because they have still some color. But also because it's winter time. And then the colors last a little bit longer. First sides I do with a hot uh, racer because that's the most wonderful thing there is. And I'll start on the line of the side beard, creating that new short line. And I want to stay in a wonderful soft line because then she can do a lot with it. I want to make a hard line. She has ultra thick hair, so then there is just a lot of hair hanging over this side. I don't want that. I want to have a soft feeling in this total hairstyle. Had je laatst die asymmetrie gezien die ik had gemaakt bij Magreet? Nog niet. Nou, die moet je even gaan kijken. 25.000 in een week. Zo. Het. Take my new layer on it, working in the same way. The wonderful thing about colors that lay beneath is that they are on a base of uh, bleaching and they, they bring out every color I bring on the hair. So it gives a lot of flammable effect afterwards. Ik ga volgend jaar proberen om ook meer tijd te hebben voor modellen. En ik wil ook op de honing zelf gaan werken. Ja. Met filmen en fotograferen en alles. Dan heb je veel mooiere locaties. Ja. Want als je op de honing een grotere studio en zo krijgt. Ja, dan heb ik veel grotere studio. Ja. En veel beter licht, want ik kan aan de noordkant ook werken. De kant van de Waal. Nou, dan heb je het mooiste licht van de wereld. Ja. Want dat is het mooiste licht. Ja. Take new layer on it. Now I'm just over the center of her skull. So that's the most important thing to know. You see how wonderful thick her hair is. I start with the tip of my knife by taking off some length and some weight of this hair because otherwise I have too much hair leaning on the other layers. My fine part of the comb can't even get through her hair. That's how thick it is. Hmm. Heb je al eens een vette rode kleur gehad? Uh, nee. Ik denk dat dat wel gaaf is. Ja. Om een hele mooie rood te pakken. Dus dat je heel stuur. Ik denk dat dat ook heel gaaf is. Ja, dat is heel gaaf. Ja. Mooi donker onderkant. Yeah. Talking about color we're going to make. And I'm gonna give her an ultra sexy red color. <laughs> Deep, flammable. And of course very feminine because red colors are the most wonderful on, on girls. I don't like it on boys. I never saw a boy with a nice red head. <laughs> Only the natural reds are beautiful. But then you can't do anything about it. And this is also very sexy, this line, how it curves. So you see how wonderful it looks like on her head. She's a wonderful model to work on. She's still young, but she knows what she wants. And that's the most important thing. 
And she knows I love short hair, so that's why she is here. Now I come on the center of a skull, part the hair from the upper layer and the upper center to the back. Now I'm going to work in the opposite lines. Just travel in the same line as I did this line to the other side. Because I have to have for some length. This because when she wears the hair to two sides, she still has a wonderful hairstyle. And she can also wear the hair in two, two different ways. Otherwise she only has a short side and nothing more than that. Just correct every time the line I'm working on. So now get to the other side. Now create on this side the same line as do on the other side. So if she wants to wear it uh, a little bit like a ball haircut, she can do that because she has hair also on this side hanging. So I come in from the same line, work to the front and this takes also a lot of weight off to, from the other side. Zo gewicht afgaat. Ja. Want dat is een pak dat er nou afgaat. Klopt. We talking about uh, the feeling of uh, losing some weight of hair. Because what I do now to her is, is, is a lot of weight what I take off. Because this was all leaning on that side. And now it's gone. So it, it's a lot of weight of hair. With my tip. I thin out a little bit. Make sure the line falls to the back. And nice thing that all the dry hairs from summertime are also gone. Now come to the front. Again, take out some weight. And every time bending the hair in the way I want the hair to fall. And still she can wear it this way, this way. Very easy now because there's no weight anymore. Go to the other side, you can take out some weight and I leave a little bit more length on this side, this angle I create because then I have a more wonderful hairstyle and more special. And the nice thing about working with a razor is that you can uh, get all the hairs in the same line, you never see uh, cutting line. Still the colors on the sides are wonderful. See how wonderful flamer they are. You watch through there. But they will be gone. Thank God. No. <laughs> That not. It was wonderful to have them. Now she has some small hairs on the front. And 
that a takeaway. Makes life a lot easier, even for her. And she can style it then a lot easier. Okay, now I can make my collar. Okay, I made her some collars. I made her for collar on top. Uh, a 5566 of Rover hair. I want to be flammable, so. And for the underlines, I created a 422. Four and that's a dark brownish violet color. As contrast on the red tone that I'm laying upon it. But I think also this gives it a Christmas spirit. And for Christmas, red hair is nice. The nice thing about red hair in the, in the winter is that it stays uh, much better into your hair. In the summer, the sun takes out colors very quick. Start coloring the sides. This is a 422. It's a brown violet color. This I do with 6%, that's 20 volume. Both colors are from Rover. Now ammonia free, parabene free. So I don't smell anything of it. You don't irritate skin or nose or eyes. And she never had this kind of colors. So for her it's also the first time to be a red person. But you live only once, so try everything. Yeah. Yeah. This color I cover up with my carton wig. And then I can lay the red back, so control if all parts have been colored. Just take a card away and take it apart to be sure there is no red color leaning on her violet sides because then you get out of color. I can lay the red back and cross control what I did with my color. This I will cover up, then we wait for 25 minutes without heat, rinse it out and we're going to show you how wonderful red she is and of course the styling of this hairstyle. Mm. Hello, we're back from coloring. We took uh, a half hour and now I have a wonderful soft shade. You can see that it is uh, what light peroxide. And the sides, what I told you, are flamey red because that's what I want to create in this hairstyle. I'm gonna style it with a nail brush. I'm starting on the back. You can see that she high is one day, but that's not a volgend year. Bijvoorbeeld als we naar de herfst in winter gaan, dan hebben we die blonde kleur. En dan zie je hoe fel die dan is hier. Ja. Zie je? Het lijkt een dikke bos om te stijlen, hè? Ja. Yeah. 
for sofa blow drying. I'm going to style her hair with soft wax because the most wonderful product on thick hair is soft wax. I use the soft wax of rough hair. Make it nice warm between our fingers. And then gently bring it into her hair. And the nice thing about the soft wax is that she also can go into her hair with her own hands because it never gets stuck, so it is not uh, becoming hard. So you can play with the hair a lot and hold this wonderful hairstyle because the more you get into it with your hands, the nicer the hairstyle is. Now you see how wonderful the red turns out because this is a soft red. But on the highlights version, it's ultra red red. And it brings out this wonderful hairstyle that she can have Christmas with. I'm certain she gets to Christmas with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shall do. Oh, yeah. Okay, my love, you may turn for you and the rest of the world to show the end result. And thank you for modeling. You're welcome. Thank you very much.